All right. So as promised, today is about you guys. And uh, <laughs> my wife thought she's in the view. So today is about you guys. And um, we're going to show you some cool experiments. We got, uh, we got a couple different things going on. She's making faces at me over here. So, oh, yesterday everything went really good uh, at the doctor's. So we, uh, we got to see the little baby. And uh, she's beautiful. So, really excited about that. But anyways, back to you guys. Um, I got a cool bunch of cool pictures, and I got some videos this time um, with with uh, some some pretty cool experiments. So, uh, go ahead. We'll go right to that, and uh, I'll do a little commentary or something afterwards. And uh, yeah. All right, Joe V. Got some good stuff here. It looks like uh, got some cement silver and some gold in solution. Look at that. Man, copper in solution is such a good color. I like that a lot. It looks like we've got some heavily saturated uh, solution with gold. There's a little bit of a top view on that. It's crystal clear too. Did a great job filtering that. And this, he's going to have to answer this one, but it almost starts to look like there's platinum in there. It's getting a little red. And this one I definitely have to say there's platinum in there. Platinum in solution. That's a pretty cool color too. All right, Ronnie. He just got this here. It's a score. It looks like 444 grams. Got it for a really good deal. And you made sure to, to to tell me to make sure to look through this stuff because you can find some really nice pieces. Look at that. We got rhodium. And this is uh, this is Ronnie. He's running some nitric acid. Got a good boil going. No fumes, so I imagine this is. Uh, this is just about done, or at least ready for another batch of nitric. Wonder uh, he's gonna have to send a picture of what he's his uh, his gold out of that. But look at this, look at this uh, this gold drop. He said this was three tablespoons of SMB. Just look how fast this this turns. It is it's incredible. Bam, just like that. I thought I had some good gold drops, but that right there is a good gold drop. We got Robert L. Look at his lab. He's got it set up, there's no question about that. Good taste in music too. Looks like he's got a project there on the floor. He's gonna have to tell us what's going on with that. Maybe uh, send us some revolt, uh, results. A little freezer or cooler. Wow, yeah, that's great. Put that right in there, hot solution. Drop all the silver real quick. Look at how organized he is. Each ship is a happy ship, no question about that. another freezer there is that uh, filing cabinet a little lockers and wow look at that well I'm just gonna let him uh, finish up his tour here and stop yapping at you
And this is an interesting setup. Looks like a bunch of IC boards. I see a bunch of tantalum capacitors. I see chips. I hope I get uh, some more videos about this. That looks mm -hmm. like it's a really cool process. You must do uh, you must do a bunch of this stuff. Let us know where you get it. What uh, what you're doing? Definitely found the mother load. Let us know if you got uh, some videos processing this stuff. There's a bunch of people on here that would love to see it. bunch of boards in there and then looks like some lab stuff we got gold solution I like the coffee pot idea that's a great idea Isn't that a beautiful color that gold just disappearing You're gonna have to show us what you got here uh, for outcome. Send us some pictures for next week. That looks like you got a bunch in there. See the color it goes? Bright reddy orangey color. That's the gold there, getting resolved. Well, I just wanted to thank you guys for uh, showing your equipment and your experiments. A lot of those were really cool, and I hope I hope to see more. Um, I think we got. A lot of pictures and a lot of videos of experiments kind of in the middle so you could send us the the final product <laughs> that would be awesome so I just kind of want to show you what I got going on for the page um, I just got some sterling in so we're gonna get some silver built up for the silver cell um, this was part of the pins so I give my wife the first shot. If she sees anything she likes out of there, she can pick it. So this is uh, this is what she picked out of the last batch. It's actually really pretty. I can see why she liked it, and it's in good shape. Um, what else we got? This is uh, the magnetic stuff. This, I think, has uh, steel underneath it because it's quite magnetic compared to those watches. But I could be wrong. So I'm going to do these separately. I got another batch of, I want to say, 97 grams of gold, gold-filled product that I'm hoping, well, I can't say hoping. If there is, it'll be uh, added to this, um, but I hope the rest of it is is, is nickel, you know, <laughs> it makes that way easier. And then I've got uh, some 14 carat here, so I've got 5.2 grams of uh, 14 carat. And then I've got 3.14 grams of 10K carat. So I want to try and cording with the, those silver contacts that we just did in the last video. So I got all those up here. Uh, this stuff, I've got, I want to try that sulfuric and nitric acid boil. So we got that coming. And then I've got more contacts that I've got to unsweat along with taking uh, the silver plate off of. So I got a whole bunch of those. So if there's anything in particular that you'd like to see first, go ahead and comment it down here and uh, I'll make sure we do that. So one of these is going to be encorded with the contacts and the other is going to be encorded with sterling. Um, So that's kind of how I want to do that. 
But yeah, if you want to see anything in particular first, let me know and I'll make sure I get that uh, get that done for you. So I got uh, I got some other stuff for the channel. So I want to uh, clean this up a little bit so I can put the other goodies on here. Give me one second. All right. Ew, I forgot to do this. Cheers. I got uh, rum and Dr. Pepper today. So I got uh, got some new gloves. I want to test them out, see how they do. Uh, they fit pretty good, actually. They're a little smaller than the uh, the black ones, so I've got a little more dexterity with them. But the black ones will be good for, um, they come up a little longer for that sulfuric acid stuff. They're easy to pull on and off, too. And uh, that came with a whole bag of them. And then I'm sure you've seen my short, my um, my hot plate gave it up. So I tried this guy. Um, I, I wanted one that did the, the stirring too. I wanted to try that. I don't know how you know useful it'll be, but I want to try it. So I'll keep you posted if it's good or not. Um, this might not be anything that might might just sit there like that but uh, I also ordered um, some fire proof insulation it's rated to like 2600 degrees so I can put underneath this because if you saw the short you saw that like nice little hot spot down there I'm not trying to start the house on fire I tell you that so but I'm excited to use this and it came quick sorry about that squeak got the tongs in so this is kind of what I was talking about, you know, like, I'm not sure if, you know, that's going to fit or not. So I might have to, might have to bend these in a little bit so I can get, uh, get a hold of a, you know, a, a hundred mil or a thousand milliliter beaker with one hand without having to do anything like that or, you know, like be fully extended, you know, yeah, I'll have more control over everything if it's, you know, it, uh, uh, you know a closer closer grip so but my fingers will thank me now that i'm not uh touching that hot boiling beaker and this is my ice tray so it's uh it's like silicone it's red the you know don't uh don't don't use me they're kind of big so we'll we'll see how that goes but i can always fill these up halfway they don't they don't necessarily need to be uh, full to the brim but what I liked about it too is that it's got the case so while it's sitting in there I can make sure that I'm not getting anything inside the water um, that would you know contaminate my my solution so I think it was like 10 bucks not bad not bad but much needed and I uh, I'm excited to use it in my next gold drop but I got that sterling, so I could continue to do some gold if that's what you guys want to see. Let me know, um, or I could do some some silver. You know, silver soul here needs to make a couple more bars. You guys keep talking about those those big pounders, and uh, I gotta I gotta I gotta make it happen. I gotta bring the big doggers out. Um, so let me know. All right, I just want to say thank you guys for watching. Um, as always, it's it's great to have you guys. Um, this week went excellent. I had a couple more people participate. There it is. And uh, I should put some bloopers in here because that was took me a while to get that word out. Anyway, um, I just want to thank you again. And there's there's so many people commenting now. Um, I I have to look into this and see if if there's a way that I can figure out like exactly who's commenting. And uh, I feel like I'd be able to, to thank you guys better. But I got, I got a couple more written down, and we have uh, a couple that are from the same as last week, big commenters. So um, we got Alric, thank you. We got E-Waste Recycler, big thanks to him. And I hope you've checked out his channel. He's got some cool stuff too. Uh, we got Joe Volk, Odin Valkyris, Tim Toolman. I think he's, uh, I think he's pretty new. 
thank you. Thank you for the comments. And uh, I think he's a fellow HVAC guy, if, I, uh, if I'd have to say. Uh, Bush Dog Scrapper. Jay Stack. Ooh, that's a good one. Mark Galisi? Gelly? I probably butchered that and I apologize. Um, and Stefan Brozelik. Thank you guys so much um, for watching and thank you for commenting. I hope you guys have a great Memorial Day weekend and uh, be safe, have fun. I'll see you guys in the next one.